Good morning, how are you guys today? How was your June? How was the start of your July? I think my last get ready with me was my birthday which was like the start of June and I look forward to filming these get ready with me's now just because it's a time where I can just sit down play with my makeup and just talk to you guys and just like catching up with a friend, you know? So I look forward to these get ready with me's and I hope you guys have been enjoying them as I have been starting this kind of new monthly series on my channel. I know I do look really crazy because of my contacts. These are the Olan Symphony Green. These are Lisa's contacts that she's like the face for. I feel like she's a face for a new contact lens now, but initially this was like her contact and that's the whole reason why I got it because Lisa from Blackpink is my bias like I'm so obsessed with her. She is literally my girl crush. But yeah, I got these because of her and I have like a whole vision for this get ready with me today. And I wanted to have green contacts in. So I thought I would bust these out as my first time using it. I feel like on camera it doesn't look as scary, but in person, the circle on the like inside, it's really dark. So it looks kind of scary in person, but I feel like maybe that's just because I have no makeup on right now and it just looks scary. Anyway, I just wanted to tell you guys that. That's what I'm wearing on my eyes, Symphony Green. And also, can you guys tell if the audio is a bit clearer. I am filming with my new camera microphone. It's literally right on top there and it looks so cool. It looks like, you know, all of those big YouTubers set up, obviously they have a nicer microphone, but you know. Yeah, it looks so cool. And I did some test runs yesterday. Testing, testing. Hello, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are filming this, 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 this. For this look, I'm gonna be using this and this and this and then this and then this and this and this. Okay, this and this and this. It does seem to improve the audio. Hopefully it's just picking up my voice and not all of the outside noise. Let me know what you guys think, if you can tell a difference. I'm not really sure if you guys will be able to tell a difference, but I know I can just because I spend like eight hours editing a video. So I'm listening to my voice a lot. I really wanna improve my video quality and content as much as I can with the money I can, you know what I mean? I even bought a new tripod. Uh, my old tripod was literally breaking down. I was using boxes to make it even and it was, no, I just had to upgrade. If you guys are curious about the microphone or the tripod, like if any of you guys, you know, are into photography or if you do YouTube, I'll link it down below. I think for both the microphone and the tripod, it was, I can't remember if it was 150 US dollars or 150 New Zealand dollars. I think it was 150 New Zealand dollars, which is a really good price for a microphone and a tripod. Cause usually a microphone itself would be a hundred and something. Cause I was going to get the Rode microphone, which is the microphone that like every YouTuber uses. But this one had more customer reviews on Amazon and it was a higher star rating as well than the Rode ones and it was cheaper so I was like I'll give this one a go if I don't like it I'll just go buy the Rode one later on because a lot of people saying it was really good so let me know what you guys think but yeah how are you guys let me know down below like I want to know what you guys are up to if something's exciting or anything exciting happened in June anything exciting is going to happen in July let's reflect back on June okay because a couple of things did happen Happen. I think the biggest thing that happened in June was my cat Rocky getting surgery. If you follow me on Instagram, I might already shared it on there, but I guess I'll just explain what happened. And if you don't own a furry friend, you might not understand how I feel and you might think I'm dramatic and like crazy, which yeah, you can call me a crazy cat lady. I'm not really ashamed of that. I don't think that's really a bad thing. So I have two cats, Rocky, which is the oldest one, the one that got surgery. She was Harry's cat. Harry is my boyfriend. So he had Rocky ever since he was a little boy and she was a kitten. So Rocky is a girl. I know a lot of people got confused. I know her name is like a boy's name, but she is a girl. And then my second child is Tubby, which is a stray cat that we picked up last year, December, around Christmas time. For the most part both of them are both indoor cats like they stay indoors I would say like 90% of the time do let them outside when they want to go outside like when they scratch on the door if they want to go outside we'll let them out I feel like they just want to get like a breath of fresh air you know just see the sun see the outdoors you know Rocky you know she's like 12 years old now her whole life she's been doing that mostly indoors sometimes it goes outside and the type of personality that Rocky has she talks a talk but she doesn't walk the walk you know she's all bark but no bite and we do have a lot of cats around 
around our like area but one day she came home and Harry was like you know just petting her and he felt like a little bump on her and we had a look at it. it it was red so we just thought like oh it was a little scratch she must have just gotten into like a little fight or something you know like usually I would panic but because it was such a small scratch she wasn't meowing she was eating properly going to toilet properly a couple days passed bump is still there and i'm like bump should have like been gone now or should have went down a little so i was like telling her i was like you know maybe we should take her to the vet like this doesn't seem normal you know me paranoid me so that's kicking in and but he was like nah like she's fine you know she's not acting weird so i was like okay i'll just take harry's word he's known rocky his whole life so what can I say? I think the next day, her fur was weird around that area. I got my flashlight out and I literally freaked out. I don't want to say I've had a panic attack just because I know that's a very serious thing and I don't want to like say that I had one. It's not something you just lightly throw around. When I put my flashlight on that wound, it was bleeding. It was like open. I'm very when it comes to like blood and stuff like that so when I saw her I freaked out and when it was on my like literal child I freaked out more I couldn't breathe my tears did not stop and I freaked out I was like walking in circles I was like oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh even when the wound was open she still wasn't showing any signs like she just wanted food took her to emergency care like after hours just because we found it at night she got surgery that day I mean that night. I picked her up the next morning. She had a cone on and the vets told me a couple things about her surgery but they were using like really technical terms that I didn't really understand as long as she was okay and I just wanted to know how I would give her you know her medicine and stuff like that. I come home, I take her out and I see a drop of blood on the floor and then I start freaking out again because I'm like does she just reopen her stitches or something? Why is she bleeding? Like this is not normal and I saw this little tunnel like sticking out of her body. If you are skirmish to these kind of things, um, just skip like 10 seconds ahead because I'm going to insert a photo of what I saw. So inserting the photo, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, this is what was sticking out of her body and me not knowing that, I freaked out again. When I first saw her, I was like, is this her bone sticking out? I thought it was her, literally her bone, her chicken wing sticking out of her skin and I was like, Oh my gosh. And then I quickly called the vet and they told me that's normal. It's like a little funnel thing to let all the bad stuff get out because they don't want her wound to get like infected again. So I was like, okay. So there's just, just gonna be blood dripping around and that's gonna be in for three days. And literally those three days, I was so anxious. I was counting down those three days where we could just take that stupid funnel out. You know, I felt bad for Rocky just because I know she hated the cone. I feel like every animal will hate the cone. It was kind of cute though, because every time she would like hit into the wall, she'll like growl at the wall. And then when she couldn't eat her food in her bowl, she'll growl at her food, which is so sad, but it's like so cute, you know? So yeah, two weeks passed and now her cone is off, stitches are out. That was a really long story. In happier news, we hit 10K on Instagram. I have the swipe up. Instagram is really hard to grow on, so hitting 10k really means a lot. Like, it took me ages. See the difference between my YouTube and Instagram. The difference is really big. We also hit 70k on YouTube as well. I already have two giveaways up on my channel right now. I want to do one on my Instagram to celebrate 10k followers, and then I have another one coming up next week. So in the first two weeks of July, I have four giveaways and they all are kind of like overlapping each other a bit. I'm really happy about that. I always want to give back to you guys as much as I can. All right, I'm going to do my brows now. I'm going to do them on camera just because of my last get ready with me. I got a couple comments saying like I shouldn't skip brows. Brows are cool and you guys want to see how I do my brows. But let's look forward to this month. There are a couple of things that I'm looking forward to in the next couple of months. One thing, I'm going to rejoin the gym. My brother actually is a personal trainer, but he is currently overseas. But once he gets back, he's gonna like sort me out with, you know, a membership at his gym and I'm just gonna start going to the gym. I'm not gonna work out. I literally just wanna use the Stairmaster and lose some weight. I don't wanna like build muscle right now, maybe like later in the future, but my main focus is just to lose a bit of weight. You know, everybody has their own personal insecurities, what they wanna work on. And for me, it is my belly. I feel like when I was 16, I could eat what Whatever I want, my tummy was 
fairly flat and I thought I would always be like that but once I hit like 18 body kind of changed and if I eat I will get bloated and that's just the way life is and you know I obviously want to live a better lifestyle I want to be healthier another exciting thing to look forward to is that I'm going to be an auntie this time it's like a little bit closer because it's Harry's brother that's having a baby I think it's coming early August it's a baby boy I'm so excited I literally just got a package just now I bought them a personalized bib I love baby boys. If I was to ever get pregnant, obviously I would be happy with a boy or girl, but if I had a preference, I would want two boys. If you guys watch Bart and Geo, Taika is literally the smartest and the cutest boy I have ever seen. But yeah, I guess those two things are the things that I'm looking forward to in July. I also have a lot a lot of three looks, one palettes to do. Oh my gosh, it's gonna take me probably until like September. I have palettes for months. I made a huge order on BH. So I got Tina's palette, it's my Ray Ray. I got the Take Me to Brazil, the Illusion, the Summertime palette. I got two Juvia's Place palettes because I also got their foundations, which I'm also gonna do a review on. So I got Juvia's Place foundation. I got the Zulu and the Deuce, Dose. Oh, so that's a lot of palettes and you know Colourpop will be launching a lot of palettes whenever they do, so I have a lot to do. Also, in today's video, I will vlog after I finish getting ready. You're going to be spending the day with me. That sounded so demanding. You're going to be spending the day with me, whether you like it or not. I will vlog today. I'm not doing anything. I am just staying home. It is my day off. I love my days off. I did ask you guys over on my YouTube community page to send me some questions. Oh, we got 65 questions. I'm gonna try my best to go through all of them. I'm gonna start from the top and then work my way down. And then whatever I don't answer in today's video, I'll just save it for my next month's Get Ready With Me, my August Get Ready With Me, yes. Okay, let's start with the first question, which is the top question. It says, how can you be confident or overcome insecurity while wearing bold eyeshadow color and lip colors in public? I always get insecure going out when I wear bold colors and always end up taking my makeup off before I leave the house. That's a really good question because that's actually something that I feel as well. Before, I did not care. I would go out with the boldest eyeshadow, even if I'm just going grocery shopping, like all good. I could care less that I feel like when I did that I got a lot of looks. I don't know if they're looking at it because they like my makeup or they think like what is this girl wearing? I don't know why they are staring at me in that way, that vibe. But it made me a little insecure and I noticed that every time I leave the house I will take my makeup off and then go bare face because that just felt more comfortable than me wearing a full face of makeup. I would say to overcome that honestly you just gotta think to yourself like you spent all this time working on your makeup just wear it out you know like these people that are staring at you they literally just see you for one second think one thought and then they're gonna move on to the next thing you know they're not gonna remember you if you see them again all good like just show off your skill girl like who cares I mean I'm not really saying much because I'm gonna take this makeup look off in a couple hours because I'm not going out because Harry's gonna take the car to work today so I can't leave the house but like even if I could I wouldn't anyway and I think the more that you wear it out like when you go out in public the more you you'll get like more comfortable so just push yourself a little bit so hopefully that helps I don't know that was so cliche and so generic next question is what do you do for work and what is your career goals I get this question asked a lot and I've answered it like in almost every single <laughs> get ready with me but I just work in hospitality it's not a crazy job I work minimum wage it's literally an entry-level job career goal honestly I just want to make YouTube full-time I just want to be in this sort of industry because I know YouTube's not forever and I shouldn't rely on that but for now that is just my goal is just to make this full-time make something out of this you know I want makeup to be my like full-time job what other hobbies do you have other than makeup do you have couple hobbies you and your boyfriend enjoy and would recommend others trying honestly I don't have a lot of hobbies in my spare time I literally spend all my spare time editing cleaning the house which is probably what you'll see me do today I do like watching anime I don't know if that's a hobby I love anime although I haven't watched it in a really long time I do love it things that me and Harry get up to we watch a lot of movies like that's our date night we'll go watch a movie grab some food we also like to take walks sometimes not as much now just because it's winter and it's cold um but in the summertime i feel like we take more walks i don't know we don't really get up too much to be honest and i'm a really boring person guys 
I'm sorry. Next question. I was wondering if you mind sharing you and Harry's workout routine and maybe what you eat in a day. So yeah, like I mentioned before, I don't work out. I am going to join a gym soon, but Harry does work out. I don't really know what he does. He has equipment in the garage. As what we eat in a day, Harry and I eat separately just because we wake up at different times at home. I just eat that chicken barbecue thing that I made in a couple get ready with me's before. I think it was my first get ready with me. I'll show you guys again what I eat. How do your friends and family react to your videos? My parents, uh, they always want to watch my videos. They'll always tell me to pull up my videos up. My brother always tells me that my mom is always watching my videos at home. Like she'll just play it in the background. As for my friends, they are pretty supportive of it as well. Everyone is supportive. The next question comes from Jennifer. She asks, what inspires you to get out of bed in the morning when you're just feeling bleh? Any tips on being productive? I think this is a really good question um, because I actually go through this a lot. I think first thing you have to think about is why do you feel like that? Like why don't you want to get out of bed? You know, like you gotta really think about it and tackle on that issue. And for example, for me, the reason why I always feel bleh and don't want to get out of bed and feel all gloomy is because I'm just so tired I feel like I just want to stay in bed and rest up there was this one period where I was you know feeling really good I had a lot of energy and I was just like on this momentum thing I think it was around the time when I was doing the watermelon palette and the blue moon palette from Colourpop I think I was just feeling really good around that time and almost I think every day I was filming I was, I was working like almost 40 hours for one of those weeks I was just like on a roll and then after that like last week and kind of like this week I just burnt out like I literally just didn't want to get out of bed I was like ugh, you know I mean some people can do that and be okay but for just me personally I don't function like that I need a balance I just have to figure that out myself and adjust my schedule and calendar to make it where I don't feel bleh and I can get out of bed in the morning everybody's reason is going to be different for why they don't want to get out of bed you might be like going through something that's why you don't want to get out of bed and if it's like that then I would say I've mentioned this also before as well is to find joys in your life I talked about Running Man being one of my joys where it just genuinely makes me so happy and also filming as well like today it wasn't hard for me to get out of bed because I look forward to filming these videos and I was excited I wanted to try these new contacts on and I wanted to do this whole look as well you just find little joys that make it enough for you to you know get out of bed I think everybody's situation is different and I think just just ask yourself like why are you feeling like that and some days when you do feel like that just feel like it like just just feel bleh just feel gloomy it's okay to have days like that like we don't have to be on it like a hundred percent every single day like allow yourself to be bleh for a day you know all working on ourselves and if you feel like that sometimes just let yourself feel like that but just don't stay like that you know what i mean a little bit preppy but you know Okay, next question. What ethnicity are you? I am Chinese Cambodian, born in New Zealand. Justine asks, top three things from your bucket list. You need to subscribe to Justine. She is the cutest girl ever. She is growing so quickly and I'm so proud of her. She's so young, but she's so talented. Like her bullet journal looks so good. So her Instagram, her YouTube is Justine Bujo, like bullet journal, B-U-J-O. So yeah, subscribe to her, follow her. She is, I love her. You guys probably already know her if you are into bullet journaling. Um, but yeah, she asked top three things off your bucket list. I actually have never thought about my bucket list. I've always wanted to like sky jump or like jump off the sky tower or like off the harbor bridge. Like skydiving, not sky jump. Is this called sky jump or skydiving? Skydiving. Yeah, I want to skydive. It's like a bucket list. I want to go to like the seven wonders of the world or travel around Europe. I've always wanted to do like a solo trip, but I don't know if I would just because I feel like traveling, it's more fun when you are experiencing it with someone, you know, to share that excitement. But maybe like a small solo trip, maybe to like Australia or like, you know, somewhere I've already been. Next question asks, who are your favorite YouTubers? I have a lot. I watch YouTube as my entertainment, so I do have a lot of favorites. Off the top of my head, I would say, beauty-wise, I would say like Dizzy, Katie, 
I love Serai, Casey Holmes, Lifestyle, you know, Jen, Sophia, Whaley, Soothing Sister. I love Sophia. I love Ryan, Ryan Higa. I love Jess and Gabriel. If you just see who I'm following on Instagram, then those are the like people that I support. I watch every single one of their videos. Share some cute stories or crooks about Rocky and Tubby. That's so cute how you guys ask about my cats. Like that literally makes me so happy. So about Rocky, like I think she's just really smart. When I'm gonna put flea treatment on her, she knows I'm coming to put flea treatment on her. She'll run away and I'm very subtle about it, but she just knows. She's a very smart girl. For Tubby, the cutest thing, it's okay, it's kind of cute, but it's kind of sad. Um, I don't think Tubby can meow. Like with Rocky, she goes meow, meow. But with Tubby, he goes meow. I'll try to insert a video of him like not being able to meow. But maybe that is his meow or maybe he's just still a kitten and like his voice box hasn't developed yet. I think that's a really cute thing about Tubby, like he can't meow. Next question is, what about doing chickens on your goals for this year? Also, are you planning to do Project Pan? So for Project Pan, I think that's like when you try to like use your products and hit pan on everything, right? But for me, I guess that doesn't really work out just because I'm usually filming reviews and videos. I usually only wear makeup when I film. I want to do an empties video at the end of the year. So products like this where I've hit pan on it, I'm trying to use this up as soon as I can. So I have a lot of products at the end of the year. I also have this blush from Super Shop, which it has a huge dent in it. Stuff like that, I've like been trying to just use up. You know what? I mean and chickens for my goal for this year let me check to my goals page it was in my bullet journal on the start of the year there weren't many goals I don't think let me check hit 100k on YouTube we are at 73 so I don't know if it's possible by the end of the year because that's like another 25 28k and we're already in July so like five five months I don't know if that's possible to be but you never know what's gonna happen travel overseas that probably won't happen this year just because we are saving up for other things. Furnish the house. Um, no. I bought a rug this year. I bought a coffee table. And that's about it. Um, it's just been a lot with money just because the dentist fees that I talked about in a previous Get Ready With Me, that was a lot. And then Rocky surgery, you know, was a lot. So all these two things were like a couple grand and, you know, trying to pay rent on time, bills and stuff like that. It's just like whenever I save money, something happens where it's like I have to use those savings for those things. Finish all Running Man episodes. I'm currently on episode 140 and I've watched from 360 to recent. So I need to watch 140 to 360. Maybe I'll be able to save money. I already told you guys not saving that much money because things just keep happening. So the palettes that I use for the mattes, I use the Milani Most Love Matte. Just for the shimmer that I just placed on, it's from the I Love City Through My Eyes. Mesmerized. That's like my favorite shadow ever. Next question is how long have you and your boyfriend been together? Any relationship tips? We've been together since 2012 December. So this year December it would be seven years. Any relationship tips? I feel like every relationship is different but I think the best thing is just to be open. Like have an open mind, open heart and communicate. If you have a problem with each other just say it. Don't keep it in. What is your foundation color in known brands such as MAC, Colourpop, Maybelline? I think MAC because I don't use back anymore I was like NC 25 NC 30 but back in the day I was much more tan than I am now so I might be I don't know maybe NC 20 at this point but it was NC for sure for Colourpop liquid foundation I use the medium 90 that could be a bit dark for me to be honest for the stick foundations I am light 70W or medium 90W Maybelline I don't know I've never used the Maybelline foundation in my life not cruelty free by the way. All right, I have my wing eyeliner on. Let me put this on my bottom waterline. I've been loving this metallic one. It's called Overboard from Colourpop. Kathleen recommended it, so I bought it because I love Kathleen. Kathleen is also another favorite YouTuber as well. so much sometimes. I've been keeping my lashes in this like House of Lashes lash book just because it saves space but the problem with this is like you don't know which lash you're using so I wrote all my lashes on my phone 
Let's go with Natalia. Natalia Lights from House of Lashes. Do you have any advice for someone who wants to start a channel but is afraid of his social circles reaction? I would say just start it, honestly. Like, I get how you feel because I was like that. I was very secretive of my channel in the beginning. Like, I didn't tell anybody. I didn't tell, like, a couple of my friends. I hid it from a lot of people just because I didn't want to show anyone and I was afraid of what they would say. I mean, if you're serious about it, they're gonna eventually have to see it. You know what I mean? So you might as well just do it proudly. Do you have any tips on how to get into bullet journaling especially if you're not that good at art or drawing? I know bullet journaling can be very intense and I'm not that good at journaling as well. Like if you look at my journal it's like very baby doodles and you know my writing's not that cute at all as well and I don't really have the right utensils. Like I literally just use like Muji pens. You don't have to make your bullet journal artsy. You literally can make it the most simple format possible. That's the whole purpose of bullet journaling is that you can make it how you like it. Like if you don't want doodles, don't have doodles. You know, it's literally what you want. I think for me, I just like doing doodles even if I'm not good at it. Because for me, bullet journaling is very thera therapeutic. Therapeutic. If you guys watch Hey Claire, another favorite YouTuber of mine, I saw her bullet journal. It's very simple and you can do it like that as well. Like you don't have to do it so cutesy. Probably because of Instagram and Pinterest, it makes you feel like you need your bullet journal to be like that, but you don't. So I know it can be overwhelming, but I feel like once you start and you get your groove of it, you'll find your kind of style. And with anything, I think starting, like just starting out, taking that first step is always, you know, the hardest, but once you get it, you got it. Next question is, how did you get to be so independent at a young age? Were you always a bit more independent than others? I feel like I'm so dependent on my parents at 20 and I want to change that. I feel like I am more independent than others. Ever since I was a kid, like my mom always told me that I was a very independent child. I like doing things my way, so I'll always just do it solo. Because of my high school and uni years, I was like a loner a lot. I was just very dependent on myself, even though I had a boyfriend since I was 16. In our relationship, I would say like I wear the pants, like I call the shots, I plan everything. I don't know, I feel like you should just rely on your parents while you can. Like you're not old at all, like you should still be relying on your parents I feel. So like just use it while you can, like don't think you need to be so independent at a young age. It's not like how I got to be so independent, I feel like things just happened and I just ended up living out on our own. Okay, I'll fix the lash glue soon, so just ignore it. But the next question is what made you want to become a YouTuber and any tips that you would give to a newbie to start a YouTube channel as well. What made me want to become a YouTuber? I literally didn't like anything else. There's nothing that I like more than makeup. Like there was nothing that I wasn't good at studying. I'm not like gifted in music or like anything like that. So I feel like makeup was just the one thing that I was okay at. Michelle Phan was like a biggest inspiration. I feel like she was everybody's inspiration and I would just be in the mirror like doing a tutorial. Like I've always wanted to do it. And then what really pushed me a lot more is like when I did my certificate course in uni, I missed an exam and like if I missed that exam, I would have had to like repeat that certificate course again and I was like, no, I'm not gonna repeat this. And that feeling of just missing that exam, I hated it so much. It made me feel so crappy. Long story short, I did get to retake the exam and I did past my course but just that feeling I was like nah this is not for me like I'm not doing this I'm gonna do YouTube here I am today still trying and struggling but hey we're trying you know and I'm trying to pursue my dream so I think there's nothing wrong with that okay I'm gonna do blush but I want to talk about the blush I picked up the Kathleen Lights her like new zodiac blushes I only got two so it's like this one here and this one here this one is called so retrograde and then this one is called I Need Space. It kind of looks like this one here, or maybe even this one. I think for today I'll use So Retrograde. I've used it in my last video. I really like it, so I'm gonna use that today. I feel like I want a pop of like orange on me. It also has like a bit of a sheen to it, so it gives you like a subtle highlight. So I could, to be honest, not even wear highlight because that looks really pretty. I love the look of like blush, you know? I know some people hate it, I'm just like, Okay, so I'll just use my hourglass highlight just because um, it's a little bit more subtle. I didn't even explain the look that I was going for today. So I want to like style my beret that I showed in my YesStyle haul. And I want to go for like this 
French Parisian vibe. I wore this like lace top and then the beret is like a mustard. I have like these pearl clips that I want to wear. That's why I wore the green contacts just to make it look more like, I don't know, westernized. And then I want to pop on like a red lip. So this is the Luxe lipstick in the shade High Striker, which is a matte. So that is the makeup done. I'm gonna go off camera and just, you know, do my hair, put on my beret, you know, like finish off this vision that I had for this Get Ready With Me. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'll be back to show you guys the final look and then we can start off the day together. So I did my hair and I try to put the beret on. I My vision was to like clip it with this pearl hair clip. I don't think that looks good. So I'm like, should I just take the clip out and then just wear some pearl earrings like that instead. I think that looks a lot better than the clip, right? All right, so we are switching to the G7X. I think the quality and the audio will sound a lot different just because I don't have a mic on the G7X. I'm switching over to this camera because if you want to spend the day with me, I will be vlogging. I just got some photos of this look, even though I'm not going out and it's a shame that I'm not, but I had so much fun creating this. I feel like a different person with these contacts and the beret, the red lip and the hoops. I'm like, who is she? But yeah, I wanted to show you guys properly these clips that I got off Amazon, which I'll also link down below as well if you want to check it out. It just didn't go with this, did it? I don't know. I'll figure a way to make these lips look cute. It came with so many. I don't know how much I paid for it. I think in total it was like $30, including shipping to ship to New Zealand. So maybe if you live in America, it would be much cheaper. It comes with, I think, 12. And they're all like different um, pearl clips. And you guys know... I love pearls. Yeah, there's like these kind of like snap-on clips and they also have like the bobby pin clips. Like more simple ones. And then we have one that's like a bit more crazy. I thought I would share that with you guys. I've been buying a lot more things on Amazon because a lot more stores ship to New Zealand now, which is great about time. So now that I finished filming, can you guess what I'm about to do? I'm going to clean. <laughs> Are you guys playing BTS World? If you guys want to add me, I'll show you my code. I actually really like this game. It's a very easy game and I like how there's like a lot of things to do. So I'm level 21. That is my code there. Of course, Jungkook is my photo. So I got a couple packages this morning, like I mentioned before, that I'm going to be an auntie soon. So I bought a couple of cute baby clothes. I got this little jumper. Oh, not jumper. This little jacket. Look how tiny it is. This is my hand. This is so cute. I kind of regret buying such a small size because obviously he's not going to be able to wear this for long. But I got all of these from Country Road. Quality is amazing. I mean, it's really pricey. This is like, how much was this? This is like $80 for a baby jacket that's like, he's literally gonna wear this for like a couple months. They have more babies, you know, they can always pass it down since it's gray, universal. So I got this and then I got this customized bib. This is his like Korean name. I don't think they decided on an English name yet. So I just decided to go for the Korean name just because I wanted to get this before he was born. And then this is the beanie. How cute, these little pom-poms on top. And I just wanted to get him like a whole set. I'm so excited. There we go. That is the finished dish. I just have rice on the bottom. I'm gonna play Running Man, episode 141. So I just took my makeup off. I know it might seem a bit weird that I got ready in the morning and then just to take it off and I didn't go anywhere. So when I film my three day my looks, I typically take the makeup off and then I will go out 
or I'll stay home or I'll go to work afterwards. It does happen a lot for me just because I don't really go anywhere, but I just like putting makeup on. You know what I mean? So hopefully that doesn't come off in a weird way. I'm going to take a bath today as well. It's like the perfect weather. Like it's raining. I have my blanket. My heater is on. A lot of you guys ask me how I be productive and I think everybody is different, but I'm going to share how I get my stuff done. When I come at my desk, I have this little piece of paper that I write. It says edit note youtube slash bts which sounds weird let me explain so the first thing i'll do i'll tackle edit which means literally just editing i'm currently importing my footage from today i'm going to edit this video today and then i'll take a break and then i will tackle on my notes my notes is my to-do list so every day i have a to-do list on my phone that i like to get through so for example some things on my to-do list is plan tomorrow's video take the rubbish out take a bath you know set up the curtains clean up the house so that's just a couple of things that's on my to-do list so i'll tackle a couple off my to-do list and then i'll give myself a break then i have the youtube slash bts so i will watch one youtube video and i will go on to the bts world app and just play a game you know use up my wings and stuff like that and then i'll go back to edit repeat the same thing i know some people can just be so focused and like edit one video in one day if they just pump out one hour but for me it doesn't work like that my videos don't take an hour to edit <laughs> they take i didn't want to say because i feel like you guys won't even believe me but the video that i just uploaded the ca love video i think that took me eight to ten hours to edit just to edit okay filming I don't know how long that took me to film because that took me three days to film. It was filmed on three separate days. I can't sit here for 10 hours straight and just stare at my screen. I have to give myself a break. So I feel like breaking it up like this, it really helps me out. It makes me stay more focused. So that's just how I function and I thought I would share that. But I'm pretty much gonna do that for the rest of the night. It's still early, it's only 4.40 right now. Alright guys, so I'm going to end the video here. It is 10.30 now and I've literally just been sitting in this seat. I've been editing, I've been cleaning the house and just doing my thing, what I usually do. And I've had a really good afternoon honestly and it was fun to bring you guys along during my day. Although I didn't do much, I hope you guys still enjoyed the video. Regardless, I am going to go ahead and take my bath and that would probably be the last clip that you guys see. But I just wanted to say goodbye before I go. And just thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy the video be sure to give the video a thumbs up i would appreciate it so much if you did i'm gonna go take my nice and snuggly bath now and i will see you guys in my next video bye